Cast your faults one to another and pray one for another. What does that mean? Just say, I'm sorry to somebody you have offended. And say, if the person, you cannot do that now because there you're sitting and the person is not even here. But you tell the Lord, I'm sorry for what I did to that person. And when I see him, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to say, yes, I was wrong. That's all. Confess your faults one to another. And then pray one for another. That's a prescription. That's a prescription. And then that ye may be healed. I'm healed tonight. I am healed tonight. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It will avail your life. My brother there upstairs, it will avail your life. Sister over there, tonight the prayer will avail your life in Jesus' name. Number one is the proclamation. The proclamation. Number two is the prescription. Number three, the preservation. The preservation. You know, tonight, the miracle you get will be permanent. You will give testimony. You know, somebody said, you know, if I, if I get something and I talk about it, they, uh, they are watching there, they will take it away from me. Who are they? The day as powerful as Jesus Christ. Who are those people as mighty as Jesus Christ? This one, you will get this one. You will testify about this one. And nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody in hell, nobody in the sea, nobody in the ocean, nobody, any bush spirit, nobody in the community, nobody anywhere will take this away from you in Jesus' name. Because the effectual fervent prayer. Of a righteous man, abilities much preservation, preservation of your healing and uh, health. You are healthy. I won't see you weak again. I won't see you sick again. You'll stand like a soldier, walk like a soldier, run like a soldier. And everything God has created you for, to accomplish here on earth, you will accomplish. You will be an achiever. I'm looking at her, the achiever. 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 You will achieve in Jesus' name. Hey, look at this, look at this. Exodus chapter 15. We're looking at the preservation of of your healing and uh, health. Your, the preservation, I'm coming to, I'm coming to uh, this in uh, Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt do gently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, after your healing, how do you preserve your health? You keep on reading the promises of God. You got it by faith, you'll keep it by faith. You got it through the word, you'll keep it through the word. You got it by saying, yes, I believe my God, my God can never fail. And you keep it by saying, I believe my God, my God will never fail. Your God will not fail you. And will do that which is right in his sight. That's how you got it. That's how you got it. That's how you're going to keep it. And then it says, and give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians. You know, if you are staying with the Egyptians, Egyptian disease, Egyptian sickness is contagious. You stay with them, they'll pass it on to you. 
You stay with them. You lie down with them. They'll pass it on you. You embrace them. They'll pass it on you. You practice their culture. They'll pass it to you. You practice their tradition. They'll pass it on to you. And you practice their idolatry. They'll pass it on to you. They say it's one of us. It's one of us. You are no more one of them. And so, as you, to preserve your healing and preserve your health, you will not stay with those Egyptians. And then you'll see, I am the Lord that healeth thee. You'll be confessing all the time, He is my Lord. He has healed me, and the healing is going to be permanent. Your healing is going to be permanent. Uh, look at, look at Job. Look at Job. The preservation of your healing and health, Job. Chapter 17, I'm reading from verse 9. Job chapter 17, I'm reading from verse 9. It says in verse 9, look at this one, look at this one. Verse 9, it says, The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. When you were sick, you became weak. You couldn't stand you don't carry your body. You couldn't carry anything. You were weak, but tonight, that sickness is going. Tonight, that weakness is going. And then, you are going to become strong. And how do you keep that strength after the healing? To become stronger and stronger by the day, stronger and stronger by the week, stronger and stronger as you move on, so that no more weakness, no more incapacity or no more uh, deliberating a, a kind of sickness. Everything taken away, stronger and stronger. You keep your hands clean. Thank God your hands are clean. Washed in the blood of the Lamb, you keep everything clean and you'll be stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. And the righteous shall hold on on his way. He that is righteous will not, you know, go into the evil in society, all the bribery and corruption in society. He'll not go into them. He'll be stronger and stronger, and you will be stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. Look at, look at uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. I'm reading here from verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son... Attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. The promises of God, chew them, swallow them, digest them, meditate on them, possess them, and claim them. The promises of God, the word of God that comes to you. Don't wait for only another power night. Between now and the next power night, all the promises of such for them, your Bible, claim them, claim them, claim them, and swallow them. That is mine. He says, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are alive unto those that find them. And tell me what follows there. Let your neighbors hear. Let your brothers and sisters hear that. Hells to all their flesh. Every joint in your body will have this health. Every bloodstream in your body will have this health. Your lungs and your kidneys and every part will have this health. This word of God will penetrate everywhere in your life. And you are going to remain healthy and strong in Jesus' name. Look at this. You must mark this one now in your Bible. What I'm going to show you now, Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 24. 33 verse 24. This one must be part of your life. It must be your experience. Do you have your Bible there? I said, do you have your Bible there? And do, have you opened Isaiah chapter 33? Look at verse 24. It says, the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Inhabitants in deeper life. Inhabitants in the church of God. Inhabitants abiding in Christ. 
the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. After the final amen tonight, you will not say, I am still sick. I am still weak. No, it cannot be. I said it cannot be. I bring healing to you in the name of Jesus. I bring deliverance to you in the name of Jesus. I bring power to you in the name of Jesus. I bring renewal to you in the name of Jesus. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Did I hear an amen there? Now, John chapter 5, verse 14. John chapter 5, verse 14. I'm reading John chapter 5, verse 14. It says in John chapter 5, and in verse 14, look at the words of Jesus Christ. It says, afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple. After tonight, where will Jesus find you? After your healing, where will Jesus find you? After the showers of blessing, where will Jesus find you? After your verifiable miracle, where will Jesus find you? He found him in the temple, and he said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. If Jesus said so, it is so. If Jesus confirms it, it is right. If Jesus said you are made whole and then there is no, you don't need to go and check up here, check up there, check up there. He says you are made whole, lo and behold, you are made whole. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, you are made whole in Jesus' name. How do you preserve that healing? How do you preserve that health? How do you preserve that deliverance? How do you preserve that dominion? It says, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a was sin come unto thee. Sin no more. You know, some people say, I, I don't understand that one. You'll understand. You know, and sometimes you go to the doctor and the doctor checks you up. Before they give you any medication, whatever, they give you a form to fill. And, uh, you know, they say, do you have this in your family? They say, do you smoke? They say, do you drink? They say, do you do this or do that? And you have to fill the form and make sure that you are feeling the right thing so that they will know the cause of the problem. And then you give that form, paper, back to the doctor. He looks at it. He said, we can fix you up. We can set all this one, and after that, yes, he now gives you treatment, and behold, you are well, and Dr. Jesus will make you well tonight. <laughs> Dr. Jesus will make you strong tonight. <laughs> and then he says, please come back and visit me. I go back to the visit the doctor, and the doctor has discovered that your lungs are having some problems. And he's trying to clean it up and clear it up for you. But now he says, you know something, you have to, I can't do this for you. You have to do this yourself. Drink and smoke no more, lest you die prematurely. The smoking and the drinking you know, has been eating up your lungs. And it's making you to have this uh, tendency. It's still the first stage. It's not too bad yet. You can still be all right. But drink and smoke no more. Lest you die prematurely. That's what Jesus is saying here. That sin no more. All those things of the night. All those things of the devil. All those things that will put you in the hands of Satan directly. And Satan will say, he has come again. Knock him down. You will not go there again. They will not be able to knock you down anymore. And so you check up your life. It says, see no more, lest it was seen come on you. Better things are coming in your life. Greater things are coming in your life. Happier things are coming in your life. You remain well in Jesus' name. I will remain well. I said I will remain well. The preservation of your health and healing. Look at 3 John, 3 John, 3 John, 
I'm reading from verse 2. So John, reading from verse 2. I'm waiting for you. I've opened it already. Open your Bible. Open your Bible. This one is for you. Say, this is for me. So John, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. You will prosper. Anybody that says you'll not prosper is a liar. Jesus said you will prosper. <laughs> Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Number one, look at this. And be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Your soul is the center of your life. Your soul, your spirit is the center of your life. It says the condition for your body to retain that health is that your soul will be well. Your soul will be linked to God. Your soul will not accept any sin of sin, any sin of evil. And number one, the work of your hands will prosper. Number two, your body will remain well. Number three, your soul will prosper in Jesus' name. Number one, the proclamation. The Lord is telling you tonight, proclaiming you to, to you tonight, He will come and heal you. That place where you are is your hospital tonight spiritually. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. Number two, the prescription. Pray in the name of Jesus and believe that once you mention the name of Jesus and we mention the name of Jesus, it is done. And he will send his word to you. He will make you well. And I have to be healing tonight because I know you are getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. Whatever you say will be fulfilled for you. After that, make sure that you keep in the midst, in the center of the will of God. And God will maintain that healing in your life. Look at Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Matthew chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 7. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. Where is that him there? Where is that her there? He'll come and heal you. I said he'll come, he'll come and heal you. Look at verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the watch only. Speak the watch only. Speak the watch only. And my servant shall be healed. Your servant shall be healed. Oh, you say, I don't have any servant. Yes, you do. Your hands, that's your servant serving you. Your legs, those are your servants serving you. Your nose and throat serving you your head your brain serving you every part of your body is for the service of your body to take you from here and take you here to take you to the mountain top you are going there and everyone everything that serves you all the members of your body will be healed tonight in jesus name speak the word only Speak the word only. That's all we need tonight. And the word is sent to you tonight. And you are healed in Jesus' name. Rise up and receive. Rise up and claim it. Rise up and possess everything you need tonight. Verifiable miracle. Verifiable deliverance. Verifiable moving of mountain. Everything you need tonight. Open your mouth and tell him your miracle has arrived. Your miracle has arrived. Your miracle has arrived. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I've heard the proclamation. I've heard about the prescription. I've heard about the preservation. And tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. It's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. You are not going to go back as you came. You are weak. You are going to be strong. You are sick. You are going to be well. You are oppressed. You are going to be delivered. You are poor. You are going to be prospered. You are jobless. He's going to provide for you. 
and the mountain that overwhelmed your life, the Lord is going to take that mountain away tonight. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, he will answer. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, he will answer. Everything you open your mouth to say tonight, he will answer. The proclamation, your healing. The proclamation, your deliverance. The proclamation, your freedom. The proclamation, your forgiveness. The proclamation, your redemption. Is there, is there, is there. Call upon the name of the Lord, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall receive his miracle. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be totally set free. That's a proclamation. That's a word that comes from heaven. And it cannot go back to heaven void. There's a fulfillment tonight. There's empowering tonight. There is a freedom tonight. There's a healing tonight. It cannot fail. It cannot fail. It cannot fail. The word that is sent forth. The word that is sent forth is getting to you there. It's getting to you there. It's getting to you there. It will enter your brain. It will enter your mind. It will enter your bones. It will enter your eyes. The word, the word of power, the word of authority, the word of anointing that breaks every yoke is there tonight. Is there tonight? Is there tonight? You cannot escape the miracle of God tonight. You cannot escape the salvation of God tonight. You cannot escape the deliverance of God tonight. So tell him everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled. Everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled. The word is in your mouth. You can break that yoke with the word of your mouth. You can send back that spirit of death with the word of your mouth. What you say on your wife, to be well, she'll be well. What you say on your husband, to be well, he'll be well. What you say and command on that child, to be made whole, he'll be made whole. Tell him, tell him, tell him. It's a night of your power. The night of his power in your life. The night of powerful deliverance. And the night of powerful manifestation. It's yours. It's yours. There's a proclamation that has come to you. There's a prescription he has given to you. And as the preservation is going to maintain your life. Your miracle is right there. Open your mouth wide and the Almighty God will feel it. Receive. Receive. Tell him, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. It's mine. The work has been done already. The healing has been performed already. The deliverance is taking place already. Power, dominion, authority, anointing that breaks every yoke is flowing. It's flowing to you there. It's getting to you there. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. He sent his word. He sent his word. And it reaches every part of your body. Anywhere that pain is, it reaches you there. 
anywhere that infirmity is, it reaches you there. You've got it tonight. You've got it tonight. You've got it tonight. Affirm it and it will confirm it. Affirm it and it will confirm it. Will speak his word. And that word is said to you where you have the challenge and the problem. The word of your mouth, let it agree with the word of God that he has sent to you today. The word of your testimony, let it agree. The word of your confession, let it agree. Even your thoughts, let it agree with the thoughts of God and the word of God. Confirmation tonight. In your life, confirmation tonight. Against every sickness, confirmation tonight. Against all the paths of darkness, confirmation of the word of God tonight. It's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening now. He cannot fail. His word cannot fail. Every arrow of the enemy is broken. All the weapons of the enemy, that shattered. All the chains of the shackles that bind you, they're broken. You're free. Declare it, you're free. And for me, it, you're free. Confess it, you're free. Believe it, you're free. Surely, he has borne our grief. Surely, he has carried our sorrows. Surely, he was meeting. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Surely, by stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Accept it now. Believe it now, confess it now, affirm it now. In Jesus' name we pray. I got it. I got it. I got it. You will not lose it in Jesus' name. Raise up those hands for a confirmation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. Thank you for your love. You called us together to bless us. And Lord, like the rain that comes from heaven, which nobody can send back, showers of blessing have come tonight upon everyone in Jesus' name. <laughs> miracles upon everyone today. Definite miracles. Real miracles. Visible miracles. Positive miracles, verify the miracle upon every life tonight in Jesus' name. You said you sent your word and you healed them all. Lord, I pray anyway there's sickness in the head, on the throat, in the chest, 
in the tummy, in the joints, in the muscles, in the bones, anywhere there is sickness tonight, I command, come out in Jesus' name. All the manifestations of evil spirit, of evil power, of demonic affliction, of something, boost spirit, water spirit, familiar spirit, whatever is tormenting your people, anybody there tonight, you are cast out in Jesus' name. The irresistible anointing that breaks every yoke, breaks every yoke in your life. You're free. Your brain is free. Your blood system is free. Kidneys are healed. Your lungs are healed. Tuberculosis again. HIV AIDS, no way again. Cancer, no way again. Be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever is the root cause of defeat and poverty in your life, I approach that thing right now. You are free. You are blessed. Your soul is blessed. Your body is healed. The work of your hands will prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every miracle your people have received tonight will be permanent. Your people will be stronger and stronger. And the joy of the Lord will always be their strength. I pray, Lord, you put joy in every heart, happiness in every soul, a song in every mouth, and testimony from everyone. And I pray, Lord, what your people have got, they will not lose. They'll testify about it everywhere. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.